Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Mike and we're in Plasticity and today we're going to be talking about the Bridge Curve Tool. Now first let's get rid of this. We're just going to click on it and hit X to get rid of it and I'm going to uh, explain why you would want to use the commands, right? Now if you've ever made an oval in Plasticity, you probably did something like this. Let me just move this menu over. You'd probably get a center circle and drag that out and then you would get another one and drag that out. And then you would create some lines and connect them up and then try to join them and you know it's not ideal right so what we're going to do is we're going to create a curve let's do one like this we'll jump to our top view and we're going to just randomly create something like that right i want it to be symmetrical so we're going to copy this guy over so uh let me do that we're going to hit alt x Let's just uh, click. So now we have two and click on OK. We can hit one on the keyboard or click up here. So we have control over our CVs. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go to the bridge curve command and I'm going to click on one of the CVs and I'm going to pull it over to the other one. Right. And when you do that, you get a perfect connection. Now you see up here we've got G2. What is that? Well, if you look at the curvature of how rounded that is, how smooth that curve is, you have the option to choose G0, and I'm only having one right now. So G0 and G0 is a straight up connection, no curve, right? Let's go to G1 and G1, and it's kind of sloping pretty fast, and then it's pretty flat up here. You can do G2 and G2, a little bit more rounded, G3 and G3, maximum rounded, right? So I'm gonna go with G3 and I'm gonna click on OK. Now, of course, you can do the same thing down here. We're just gonna grab our bridge tool again and I'm gonna click right here, drag it over here, click, and I want G3 and G3 once again, and there you go, nice and smooth and connected. The face is showing up, so you can see it's a perfectly clean connection. And if I hit two on the keyboard, I can go in here grab these and i already know when i hit j to combine them i'm not gonna have any problems right so there you go and they're now combined that's how easy that is and that is the uh, bridge curve tool right so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one right bye